to meet you. How are you? I'm great, and you? Yeah, very well. You look you. absolutely stunning. What is the message? There has to be a message here. Uh, well, I just, you know, have to continue to be the most outrageously dressed and fashionable at every event. At every event. Um, no, I just wanted to give a bit of a drag king look. Um, as an ode to when I first came out, I would wear mustache all the time. <laughs> um, and, you know, bit of business in the back, party in the front. Um, cute, uh, slutty businessman. Be careful in the office when I'm around. I think I got the message. <laughs> I think I'm getting it, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of like speaking about empowerment on this Eurovision, you know. You are as a non non-binary person. Mm -hmm. What would be your message to another non-binary people? Oh god. What would be my message to you? The sooner you come into yourself, the better. And there is a massive community of people and there's space for us everywhere and you deserve the light and you deserve the space and i love you endlessly i think th this message should go to poland especially you know we have a lot of in the past let's say a lot of problems yeah. with generally being uh, homosexual mm -hmm. or whatever and now i think it's changing so i think that's very important for uh, those who are watching i would like to ask you about a little bit before eurovision mm -hmm. because you studied musical theater is that I true did. yeah i have a degree in musical theater and i used to be a ballerina before that so i'm a theater kid I'm also a theater kid, also oh, yeah. musical theater kid. Yeah, my mother is an actress in musical theater, oh, wow. so I was basically born uh, behind the stage, also in musical. In a, in a jazz uh, split. Something like this, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite musical then? Oh, my favorite musical. Uh, my favorite musical is actually Parade. I don't know, if, do you know Parade? Um, okay, I'll do one that you might know as well. So I will Parade. Google it. <laughs> Parade is gorgeous. Um, I love Les Mis, obviously. Oh. Um, a, a Man of No Importance mm -hmm. is a, an Irish musical, um, really good. And personally, my qualm is that people don't act as well in musicals as they sing. And I would forgive a lot of bum notes for more acting. Mm -hmm. So I want to write a musical myself. <laughs> oh, that would be very colorful musical, I think. Or really, really just so haunting that everyone left there feeling really terrible. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> also about the song Doomsday Blue. Was it made for Eurovision? Because I didn't get that in the interviews I was watching, so I didn't get that info. How was it? Uh, no, it actually it, it's off my latest EP Cathexis, which came out in October, and um, I just randomly picked it for for this. And uh, I mean, it has all the ingredients to cause a stir, which it has done. Um, whether you like it or you don't, you're not going to forget the song. Exactly. <laughs> um, therefore, win already. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's three minute long of me showcasing all these facets of me. You know, like action, like jazzy singing, pop singing, spoken word, screamo. Um, I'm just a bit greedy, and I want to show everything. I, like you only get to the Eurovision once, you know, if you don't come back again. But you only get to do it once, so I thought, let's make a showstopper. Let's let's make people be like, what? You know? But like at the same time, everybody hated Bohemian Rhapsody when it came out, and then it was on the radio all the time because what? It was ahead of its time. Not saying that this could be in the time if you just understand it a bit more. Um, I think it might be it actually. Yeah, I think there are two songs. Actually, Nemo and yours, they're really like unique. Yeah. You know, they consist of many, many genres. Non binary scope. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's, uh, that's something yeah. <laughs> we should follow in the future, you know, like finding yourself more and then finding yourself more in the music, like mm -hmm. looking for, uh, mm -hmm. for more styles. Because I think Eurovision needs that. I do definitely. I mean, like, I think what's in my favor is there's no other song that really sounds like there's like where's I'm mean, like given the the lordy element I guess this year so great come on rock and roll <laughs> anyway you can vote for Ireland because we are in the same same semi final yes please vote for me I think you are Lea, performing very close to us actually close yeah. to Luna which is actually she cannot be here today I, I saw her on her Instagram yeah. she's a bit Funny sick people. yes but that's very important to be ready for Eurovision one question which I always ask to all Eurovision artists if you can take somebody's song and make it for your own which song of which artist would it be 
Hmm. Uh, do you know what? I can't stop singing France's uh, chorus, so maybe that. Um, I, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I could take the code and make it more metal. <laughs> that would be even more powerful. I think Eurovision cannot handle that much power in the music. <laughs> well, yeah. Limo, if so, uh, you know, you have here uh, in France, Limane. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was lovely chatting to you. I hope maybe we can have more time in Malmo to speak about, you know, life and uh, musical theater. <laughs> I would love that. I would love that. So nice to meet you as well. So nice to meet you. And of course, good luck and enjoy tonight, first Thank of you. all, because it's fun too. Yes. It should be fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Ciao. Thank you very Thank much. You.